Now, the role of martyrism has changed in society. Before, martyrs were people like a Jesus or a Gandhi or a... That's like the only two I can think of right now. That were actually interested in preserving the social order of society. Not necessarily preserving it. That's not what I should use they were in a way patriarchs. They were patriarchs that wanted a more functional role of society. They see the poverty, they see the destruction, they see the lack of care from those on top. It's just that they don't handle it by a hysterical fashion of just breathing quickly, rushing in and fighting physically. They try to do it by organizing the people, kind of what Marxists failed to do, actually organize the people. So in a way, I mean, you got Gandhi, and we know that with his religious upbringings and his view that if the wife die, if he dies, the wife dies too, and things of that nature. His views on race, yeah, he is a bit of a patriarch. In fact, I can almost say that the segregation we have back in early 20th century, late 19th century, that is PG patriarchy. That is, uh, that, is that should be politically correct patriarchy right there. I, I think it is a little PC because people can freely diss it, but everyone's too pussy to diss all the other patriarchies because they know they're from guys that don't take shit from nobody. This Hammurabi code style patriarchy, that's what you really need to worry about, not this, uh, oh, there's black baseball teams and there's white baseball teams. This thing where everyone's split up and there's a black economy and a white economy. Which, you can say, that's to me that's not really a good system. It's better than this system, but it has its role in industry manipulating society. Because you got like, stuff that they recycle for blacks and then stuff they recycle for whites. They got... Black music, white music. It wasn't really that. It wasn't that thing where everything was voluntary in a way. There was some sort of some type of industrialization involved, where a lot of your views were a product of society. But that's abstract. That's something that I won't be able to prove right now. That's just one of those theories that's going into my head. Why? Because I think there's a natural progression from strong patriarchy to weak patriarchy to this kind of patriarchy. I mean, over time, patriarchy has become weaker and weaker. Because needs of survival are weaker and weaker. And so, social order just needs to exist in order to keep society masculine for the mass men and feminine for women. Something that's complementary. The good dialectics. The good dualities. However, these new martyrs, these John F. Kennedy, John F. Kennedy is only considered a martyr because of the Cuban Missile Crisis and that speech he did. Other than that, he was basically, he lied to the public for military purposes which basically makes him essentially not a martyr. Yeah, he's a sexual degenerate and worshipped as a martyr. Same thing with Martin Luther King. Social activist and really interesting, but he was more of a sexual degenerate. And I'm not saying that fucking a lot of girls is bad, I mean, or fucking guys is bad, but if you're willing to get into orgies like that and say that kind of shit, then... You're probably not really interested in a patriarchal structure because 
that's clean and this is gross. This is matriarchy. This is disgusting. So, a lot of these so called martyrs were very egotistical, very cocky, very. Um, we will not fall. We will get our changes, and they hold the weight of the world on their shoulders to show that they're like essentially the good people with a good cause. And that's kind of the way martyrism has changed. Before, albeit whether it's for the weak patriarchy or a strong patriarchy, it's like, it was there, it was present. They weren't fighting, but they weren't pussy. They weren't like these Occupy Wall Street guys that, okay, those guys aren't sexual degenerates, but they're sexually insufficient. They're not getting a lot of pussy most of the time. They're not getting their needs met, and because of that, they're fragile. Because of that, they're suffering. And you can see that in statements like, I am the 99%, this kind of depressed-ass statement, this, I'm so weak, please feel sorry for me, egotism, and then they switch to martyrism. Populistic martyrism, by the way. A lot of views are a mix of progressivism and populism, which really freaks me out. That's, that's scary right there. <sighs> And then because of that, I just realized how the role of Christianity has changed from being patriarchal, a soft patriarchy, because society was, is constantly going from more patriarchal to less patriarchal. But it went from less patriarchal to not patriarchal at all. That's like, that isn't a natural reaction. That's like saying, all right, we have a gold standard, so things are costing less over time. And so, we dropped the concept of money altogether. That's not how it works. So, obviously, something was in the works. And these days, Christianity is more about trying to do what it did before, but in a very matriarchal fashion. Like, the structure of the family. Well, if you're going to church and you're an adult, you've got to get married. If you have a relationship with this other person, you've got to get married. You've got to find someone to be in a relationship with. Um, you gotta get hitched, man. Which is what they're pressuring people to do in Spanish churches. I don't know about black churches or those other ones. Um, uh, all of a sudden, drinking and using some recreational drugs, that's like shunned. Getting into fist fights, that's shunned. All of a sudden, that's like really fucking bad. Like, you're, you're not a good person because you do this. But whether or not you're a degenerate pussy or a normal person, you're going to have to use some sort of drug for purposes of pleasure. You're going to have to engage in some type of violence with another person. You're going to have to like use your fists to express emotions. That's how guys are. These things of ours, I can't make a good fist. I will get my ass beat. These things of ours reflect our need for conflict, our need for justifying and validating our own existence, and that's how it's gonna be until until we find a new socialist man. I'm sure that that guy probably isn't gonna come out, and if he does come out, then He'll be a new mental disorder. I'm gonna guess it's autism mixed with bipolar disorder. Yeah, that's basically gonna be it. Autism mixed with bipolar disorder and constant depression, compulsive lying. That's that's gonna be a new new socialist man. The next uh, social disorder, mental disorder. Where the Ubermensch will probably follow too, because society really doesn't want an Ubermensch. Or at least it's not asking for it. Um, 
not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm just like saying for, as an example analogy. Now I'm moving on ahead. I'm turning over my shoulder a lot because it seems like it's night all of a sudden and it's only 4:43. But no, it's just the fact that it was really bright out for a while and now it's dark again. The clouds have blocked the beautiful sun and the blue sky. Now going back to the old subject, going back to the old topic, martyrism has changed, become egotistical, become a way of basically giving this false idealized version of the self. Which is not a good way of validating your own existence. I mean, we have egos. Egos are good. Because a lot of times, we gotta have different versions of ourselves. We can't just use our true self all the time. Being naked with another person. Being open. That's not always gonna happen. Sometimes we're gonna have to make some concealment. You're going to have to conceal some parts, alter some parts, by switching attitudes, by doing this rational change of the self, this natural version of self to, like, be this guy that you want to be. Be this guy that's going to get you a little approval, because you need some approval in society if you live only to just get disapproval of others. Well, there's an egotistical motherfucker and then there's you. I don't want to be you. But that exists, yet that shouldn't be the basis of your attitude existing as this idealization of the self. That's a tool. That's not you. That's a tool your psyche makes. Your psyche makes that. That isn't you entirely. That isn't your true self. So if you exist to justify that, then that's like putting the cart before the horse. And that's what a lot of these martyrs do. And they die in their worship because they basically did something that promotes peace, promotes what leftists think are good ideas. A lot of these guys get assassinated by, ironically, leftist loonies, which shows that leftists hate leftists. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there. And that isn't going to change. I mean, there are good leftists. I keep saying that because I can't stress that enough. <clears throat> I mean, we got we got Benjamin Tuckers. Not every leftist libertarian is a fucking Noam Chomsky-ass bitch, nigga. That basically makes shit up as he goes and tries to manipulate others. We got guys like... Benjamin Tucker, we got the mutualist. That's a positive. That's that's a good thing. These leftists that are trying to go for the softening up of the order of society. Maybe the mutualist will find equal freedom. I and mean, with that equal freedom, that equal liberty, we'll be able to transcend what we're dealing with now. Although mutualism, I gotta say, is it needs to happen sooner than later because we're trans. Pretty soon, we're gonna transcend that uh, industry and commerce system. So they gotta like either get with the get with it or like move on and like modify their ideology to suit the new revolution, new social order. But other than that, you learn something new today. So hopefully the next society will have a patriarchy. A softer patriarchy than the last one. If we economically prosper, yet we still need uh, conflict since men are conflict driven. Men need a way to validate their own existence. And that structure will give them a way to validate their own existence through work. And through socialization. And socializing with others. Alright, second.